time series data. Today we are going to talk about looking at your data over time. And this might sound obvious, um, but as somebody who has tried and failed to run time series, uh, they present some unique challenges that we're going to talk about today. But first, let's talk about what your data looks like when you're not looking at it over time. So, for example, Emma's online pet food store, we decide we're going to release a 20% off coupon. And I want to understand how people uh, react when they get that coupon. So when I'm not looking at it over time, my data might look something like this. Uh, so compared to my control, people who didn't get my coupon, how are different metrics changing? So maybe compared to people who didn't get the coupon, people who did get the coupon had a positive lift in add to cart, and maybe there was a negative lift in time on site and then another metric that didn't really change. So this is not over time. But what happens if I want to look at one specific metric like add to cart every day? I want to know what this changes on the day-to-day -day basis. That's what time series is for. So my super high tech graph uh, shows you kind of what a typical time series looks like. So over time, whether that's days or weeks or months, how much changes there are going to be between my test and my control for a specific metric. So on Monday, how much more add to cart was there when people got that coupon? That's what that shows. And then like on Tuesday and Wednesday and so on and so forth. Um, and this seems really easy, but there's some unique challenges when we're looking at time series data. And one of them is that when we look at a metric over time, the data is kind of inherently interconnected. Um, when we're looking at data that's not a time series, it's a lot easier to establish independence, but that's super hard to do because in time series, the changes that we've seen in the past continue into the future. So if it rains on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, it's probably also more likely to rain on Thursday. So I can't just say like, oh, it rained on Thursday for these totally independent reasons. Um, but time series also is really helpful to identify issues in your data or issues in your code. So if on an average day I'm seeing maybe like a 1% or 2% increase in purchasing for people that got a coupon and then on a certain day it suddenly increases to 50%, it's probably not because uh, everyone suddenly realized how awesome my coupon is. It's more likely that uh, there's an issue in my data pipeline or maybe there's a bug in my code or there's a glitch in user experience or something and time series can help me identify that. And Statsic offers a time series view. Uh, it was actually a feature that we built a couple months ago because of customer requests. And most of our roadmap is actually determined by things that customers ask for. Uh, so if you are curious to try out Statsig, uh, ping me and we can set you up with some free credits to play around with it yourself. And uh, thanks for watching.